Since we're going to write a lot of tests for view components, specifying vTest environment direct you at the beginning of each test file to mock the browser environment in the node environment might not be optimal. As you can see, after I have removed this annotation from here, the document object is no longer available while running tests. There is actually another way which allows us to specify which tests should be executed in the browser environment. And we can do this by using vid configuration. Let's open up vid.config.ts and right here let's add the following object test with the key environment match globes. And here by using arrays we're gonna write the following. The first element of this array will be the path to those files that have to be executed using browser environment. And here we can use globe notation by specifying two asterisks, meaning that all the files from within this folder components should be executed in the browser environment. And as the second element of this array, we're specifying the library that we are using to mock browser environment. In our case, the library is called Happy Dome. So now, even after I remove this vtest environment annotation from the file and rerun vtest by running npm test, as you can see, the tests still ran successfully. So that means that document object is still present and our tests have been executed in the browser environment. So with that, let's move on to the next thing. Let's check out the difference between two mounting functions. The first one is mount that we are already using here and the second function is called shallow mount. Let's consider the difference between these two functions. The shallow mount function also has to be imported from the view test util package and now I'm basically going to print out the markup of both of these components but the first component has been rendered by using mount function and the second one was rendered by using shallow mount function. And let's switch over to the terminal and check out the difference. In this case we're not seeing any difference and that is because this base button component does not contain any child components. But the difference between mount and shallow mount function is that that mount function besides rendering the main component also renders all its children. But the shallow mount function only renders the main component and all the children will be replaced by so-called component stops, so the children will not be rendered at all. The base button component is not the best candidate to see the difference here, but in the future lessons we're going to see this difference more clearly. So in this test we can use either functions, the result will be the same. I'm going to go with shallow mount. I'm also going to use this shallow mount function inside the second test and then let's remove modifier only. Also remove an import of unused mount function. And here we go, both of these tests are still passing. And at the end, let's check out the difference between methods HTML and text on the wrapper object. Let's switch over to the terminal. And as we can see, the HTML method has returned the full markup of the base button component but the text method has just returned the text content of this component, which in this case is the label of the button. But just because in this case we're checking to see that the base button contains label, we can also use text method instead of HTML and the test will still be passing successfully. Let's try it out. I'm going to replace this method HTML with text and test is passing. But if I'm gonna go back to base button component and remove this default slot from here, which means we're not gonna render past label anymore, the test is going to throw an error because label has never been found. So using method text instead of HTML will work just fine as well in both of these tests. I'm going to replace HTML with text also in the second test. At the end, let's also run all the tests in the project by pressing A to make sure we haven't broken anything else. All tests are passing. Let's continue writing tests in the next lesson.